Hello guys, welcome back to one of the last episodes of this Let's Play. We are now at war with the uh, Comitern. So, let's see if everything is okay. I'm going to put these guys into interception, of course. These guys also. Also the same. Same with these. So we have a few more planes and divisions ready. These guys are going to, to reserve. The AI will be controlling uh, the armies, so um, I will deal only with um, the navy and with uh, supply issues. We're sure. I'm certain that we will have a few, unfortunately. Let's find an. an a corpse, a corp for these guys. None, there is none, so... Creating one. All our divisions were produced, so... Um, I'm gonna wait. No, I'm not gonna wait. I'm going to put this in manual con manual control and bump bump up supply production. I'm going to put uh, 70 into reinforcement. This will eventually be needed. I don't care if I neoistic supply. Um, I see. I'm gonna leave like uh, 100. Or less, yeah, 100 around 100 is fine for production, and the rest goes to supplies. I want 99,999 as soon as possible on my stockpile. Now going to give orders for the invasion for the airborne invasion of the of the. Committer and miners. Should be over soon, hopefully. I'm just worried with this assault, assault on Yuna, Yanan with just just two divisions. Probably we end up end up with in disaster. So I'm not gonna do it. I mean after this one instead it's the same amount of VPs. Okay, it says here that it doesn't have any divisions, but it has, you can see, it still can carry 25 uh, out of 75, so it has divisions, 
just just it just isn't showing them uh, there it is okay the airborne troops have their orders so I'm going to attack Vladivostok and to automate our theaters Leasing stands, I'm gonna give them some objectives Immediately it's telling me that it doesn't have enough troops Which is a lie It's more than enough. Moscow, why not? Blitzing also. Guys, nope. Okay, attacking stance is good. Apparently they have an army stronger than mine at the border. Who cares? Mine is, I'm sure mine is stronger, so I probably better give the orders. for now Okay, time to start the clock. Our battles are all, all in the green, so they are pretty much in trouble. By the way, I'm uh, here we have it, the winter war uh, effects, great. By the way, I'm I'm uh, stacking, like I said before, my airplanes in in fire in 20 because I'm not a micromanager. Um, like I was saying, I'm not a micromanager, and um, sometimes when I put the, my planes in reserve, the, the, that doesn't work, and I end up with my planes destroyed, as you can see some of our planes already suffer lots of damage so when that mechanic doesn't work uh, I end up with lots of planes destroyed uh, so I have to micromanage a lot I don't want to, don't want to do that so 20 planes are the same as uh, 4 full strength planes I'm actually wasting IC this is a very inefficient way of stacking the planes 
so but since I don't want to micromanage this is good for my style of play and not unfair to the AI because five plus a uh, five plane stack is uh, as al almost the same strength as the is 20 not is not uh, uh, exactly the same strength but it's a very similar strength um, so let's continue I'm going to attack uh, Vladivostok Pretty soon we will see the Comintern Miner surrendering I'll go back to Europe in a minute, just want to take this province One more last transport for the Russians. These guys are taking a long are taking a long time to defeat. Okay, it's done. I'm gonna set up a convoy there. I will only leave a uh, an heavy armor there, it's enough to hold the ground Let's see how things are going here Yeah, we're advancing Okay, it's time to automate this theater I was forgetting that I, it was not that it was me who was in charge yeah, as you can see now, the theater has acknowledged that it is stronger than the Soviets. I'm going to give it some objectives. Okay. Let's see the supply situation, should be good for now, at least for now. I'm pretty sure that this will, we have we will have lots of problems once these, these provinces are captured. Great, the navy has arrived. mistake I leave it at 70 I don't want to micromanage this too much lovely captured okay we already captured another Russian port which is great well, with, su in supp with supply, I believe in the south. Yeah. I'm gonna leave one heavy armor here, and I'm going to Europe. Okay, communist China. Let me see their surrender. Yeah, they will surrender. That's great along uh, with all the others okay we have supplies we have fuel these guys should be yeah they're on their way so uh, as, uh, as I was saying I'm going to, to Europe with my with the Navy
I'm going to base here. I'll set up a convoy there. Shouldn't be far. Here it is. Okay, Communist China is done. I'm gonna put uh, some air bases where my paratroopers landed because I may still need them. Probably I won't, but I may. Which is weird, these guys haven't lifted off. Really weird, they have supplies, they have fuel. Should I worry? Let's see. Okay, we're starting to see some supply problems. Time for my planes to do something. Well, the Soviets are clearly in deep trouble. We are advancing fast in the south. Let me see if we capture more ports. Nope. Okay, finally our paratroopers decided to do something about Xinjiang and Mongolia. Xinjiang was the next and Mongolia decided to go into exile. I'm gonna put another airbase here. My I'm gonna attack Tibet from here. Yeah, I have the range. Just hope they don't put me out of supply. Yeah, that's a, I'm in danger of uh, that happening. Okay, we are already fighting the battle for Leningrad. Our cruisers are providing shore bombardments. As you notice, I won't do any ground attacks, like I, like I said, I, I wouldn't. I don't need that. Okay, Leningrad will, be, will soon be captured and I believe that's where our supply situation will break up completely. So these airplanes will be extremely useful. I was talking about these.
Yeah, they were retreating in all fronts, even across the rivers. Let me check production. That's great. More planes for supply. Leningrad has been captured, so the Gulf, we have the Gulf of Finland effect, more 20% resources and 10% leadership. That will be good to help us with our officer ratio, but I'm pretty sure it will wreck our supply lines. Let me just deploy these airplanes. And I will speed this up. This will probably be the last episode of this um, Let's Play. Probably make it a special. Because the Russians are really in trouble. Don't I don't expect them to last very long. Let me see the national unity. Yeah, they are almost halfway the surrender progress. I'll deal with the supply problems Well, my troops, well, the AI defeats the Soviet army. Okay, we are. <laughs> this is great. We lose uh, leadership, ten percent leadership, and the game take it, takes it away with uh, and even more. Okay, we are fighting some f for Soviet heavy cruisers. Nothing to worry about. I'm forced to put this in automation. I'm not really forced to do that. Okay, we stay like this. This I'm going to put this seventy more than enough. Okay, let's continue. So it's not a surprise that they lost four heavy cruisers. We've captured another port, that's great. And I create a supply convoy there. Okay, uh, apparently I was right. The supplies stopped coming from here. Look at how we have uh, 1,240, uh, we are capable of s transporting through here 1,240 supplies and fuel per day, while the new 
while in the new route we can only supply uh, half of that this is Russian territory that's this is where the supplies are now coming to to the front lines and our supplies to output has been cut in half so this can only transport uh, because it has a put infrastructure only 8 level 8 actually our supply is, is, is less than half what it was before our supply to output which is very bad uh, that's why I believe we will be starting to see massive uh, under uh, supply problems yeah we are already no, no, um, seeing that and it's due uh, this because of this because the game um, now is um, the supply system is now uh, channeling supplies from Helsinki directly to the front um, then that and that cuts our supply to output at least in half and more and I believe more than half of that as you can see Leningrad can only transport 396 supplies per per day and fuel so uh, before we capture these we had uh, 1200 supplies per day now we have less than half of that that's the only problem, the major problem that I'm going to face here. So I will be taking advantage as much as possible of ports and of my supply planes. If it wasn't for them I would be in serious trouble. So, as you can see, these planes are invaluable. So, let's have a look at the, at the front lines now. In the south there is, al there is almost no resistance, this, the Soviets are in complete disarray. Well, they are in disarray almost everywhere. The, the front have, er, has collapsed. It's just a matter of time before we reach Moscow. Over here it's pretty much the same. I see we, ha we have captured at least another port. Where is it? Okay, we should. Yep. Create a supply. Okay, I'm going to keep supplying the troops. Despite the surprise problems, we are winning this clearly. We have more planes to deploy. Let's deploy them.
Well, our time is almost up, but like I said, I'm going to continue this episode because I believe um, the Russians will soon surrender. Let me see. If, we ca if I keep stopping this, this game, I won't be able to do it. Hopefully I won't stop it anymore. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, I'm going to put some uh, divisions in, auto in manual control to see if they can reach uh, Moscow as, as fast as possible. The AI can take ages to do that. And I'll make sure to keep them supplied. Let me see if I can attack um, Tibet. Well, apparently not yet. The airbase hasn't repaired. So, the Russians are really in complete disarray. Once they lose Moscow, they will surrender. So our drive to Moscow is going, I'm afraid they'll, that they'll get encircled, I hope the AA can keep up. Ok, more planes. No, damn it. My mistake. Oh, 
but apparently the reserve um, function is working. We have a f um, half destroyed fighter here. Okay, the Navy has arrived here, I didn't notice it. We'll help capture this VP. Another mistake, I forgot to do this. It's done, I'm going to let me to leave one of these guys here. Well, I'm going after more coastal VPs. I'm going to rebase these guys here. Yeah, they have fuel and supplies. But I'm going to send them to here. Our units towards Moscow are doing very well. Let's see the supply situation. It's not good, I must do something. One more portrait that was captured. This is very good. Let me see their surrender. Yeah, once Moscow is captured, it will be the end of the Soviets. I'm pretty sure of it, like I said. I'm just afraid that our divisions will get encircled, but we have air supply, so there's no problem with that either. If we didn't have air supply, that would be a problem, but with air supply, that is not a problem.
So, Soviets will surrender soon. Let me see if we can attack Tibet already. We must be... Yep. Finally, Tibet is going to be conquered. Here it is, Tibet was the next. Poor Tibet. Okay, more supply planes. I'm going to try to merge them with the main supply um, stack. already trying to cut me off but they won't succeed Moscow itself is within range of my plane so they're screwed okay <laughs> these guys are taking forever to reach this VP I guess I'm, I'm still I'm needing it or maybe not, I'll need it, or maybe not. Let's proceed. Moscow is the target. This is great news. So let's have a, a final look at... Uh, here we have some encirclements. A final look at the map. At the front. Because pretty soon Moscow will be captured and the Soviets will surrender. That's a promise. Okay, let's see if... Yeah, this VP was captured. No more coastal VPs. One more port captured here, which is great. Soviets are doing their best to stop me, but I won't be able to do that. Mm, 
Now I'm worried this guy is retreating into uh... Damn it. Okay, he's fighting. That's cool. Let's have a look at their national unity. Come on guys, I want to finish up this campaign. Let's see the battle of Moscow. Yeah, they're doomed. If... If uh, for some reason that I highly doubt they don't surrender after the, the match Moscow is captured it will be just a matter of days because the spies and another eventual VP uh, captured uh, will bring them to their knees so let's speed this up here it is Moscow is captured and the Soviet Union surrenders it was a very entertaining campaign guys, hope you have enjoyed it. Final look. And the Soviets are surrendering. This is why the game has freezed. They have too many provinces and still a big army. waiting hope this doesn't this doesn't doesn't crack here it is the conquer on Soviet Union Soviet Union was the next and Mongolia and communist China was the next so let's have a look at the world on November 1 on 1946 pretty different from the one that we started with in 1936 with the exception of some provinces controlled by <coughs> by rebels because their uh, level 1 infra can't be captured only by rebels so here it is the world is speaking Finnish now the only countries left in the world are puppets of uh, Finland. We're talking about Ira, Iraq, Yemen, Bhutan, Nepal and Guatemala. And of course the United Kingdom, what's left of, the, of it. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this. Um, hope to see you soon in another uh, Let's Play, maybe. So take care. I hope you have enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed doing it. So once again, take care, hope to see you soon.